So Hunter then goes to China. Now I'm dealing with China right now. They don't like me too much. They dream about the day when somebody else, and would they like to have, how about this? You give this son, who has zero experience with investing too, you give him $1.5 billion to invest, meaning he makes millions and millions of dollars. And the biggest guys on Wall Street can't get it. He walks out with $1.5 billion. And then there are other places also, I understand. Folks, it's disgraceful that the press doesn't cover it for what it is. It's a payoff. It's a payoff. And how would you like to have Sleepy Joe with the son getting all of this money from China, become president? and take over the China deal. I, they are not liking me. They had the worst year that they've had in 57 years. Their supply chain is broken up like scrambled eggs. And they want to make a deal because those tariffs are giving us millions of dollars and billions now, billions and billions of dollars. We're taking billions and billions of dollars. And you know what we're doing with some of it? Just a small portion, but 100% they're taken care of. Our farmers got $16 billion last year and $12 billion the year before because they targeted our farmers because they know the farmers love Trump and Trump loves the farmers. So they targeted them and they brought the $16 billion down to practically nothing and they thought our farmers would say, oh, we don't like Trump. They did just the opposite. They said, we know he's doing the right thing because we've been ripped off for so many years. But I said to him, I said to Secretary of Agriculture, Sonny Perdue, a great guy, I said, Sonny, how much did they spend buying our corn and soybeans and all of our agricultural product? He said, sir, $16 billion. I said, good, I'll make it up. And we're gonna have a lot left over. So we will have, pretty soon, over a hundred billion dollars in money paid into the United States Treasury by a country that never gave us 10 cents. They only took, they only took. So when I said to the farmers, we're gonna send you 16 billion and it's already been sent and it's been split in the 12 billion the year before. I mean, think of that. 28 billion. I said, compliments of China. And we had a lot left over. Not bad, right? Not bad. You think Obama would do that? I don't think so. You think Hillary would do that? I don't think so. You think Sleepy Joe would do that? I don't think so. He wouldn't know what you're talking about. On Tuesday, the proud people of Mississippi will send Democrats a clear message. It's very important for this reason as well as the fact that you have a great gentleman in your midst. But you have to reject their extremism and their socialism and their corruption, they're corrupt. Adam Schiff is a corrupt politician. <laughs> you know, when he made that phony speech where he made up a, a really horrible speech and said that I said it, I said, oh, I'm gonna sue him. They said, sir, I'm sorry you can't. He's got total immunity because he made it in Congress. Can you believe this? But you know, here's the good news. At least we have a forum. We have a place we can talk so everyone knows what's going on. Bunch of phony people. But this is why we have to send a signal and why you have to make Tate Reeves your great new Republican, right? Republican governor, right? Tate, he's a great guy too. And all I know is he's loved and respected by your current governor, because Phil is some piece of work. You know, Phil is so confident. I wanted Phil to run for a certain office. Then I wanted him to do something. I've, I've tried to get him. But you know, some guys are confident. Phil said, no, sir, I've been doing this all my life. I love the people. He built the most beautiful African-American museum. Phil, he's the greatest. But he built the most beautiful. But he's got confidence. And he said, no, sir, I've been doing it. I don't really want to do that. In other words, he said, that's enough. Most people are so insecure. They keep going and going and going. It's not good. I like Phil's attitude better. But Phil is great. But I'm going to introduce Phil in a second. But Tate Reeves, 
who Phil endorses and views as a champion for your state, and really a champion for Mississippi values. And Tate helped cut your taxes over 50 times, including the largest tax cut in Mississippi history. Tate is pro-worker, he's pro-jobs, he's pro-family, he's pro-life. Tate is a true leader in the fight to protect the unborn. Which the other side is not. Tate Reeves will support our police, oppose Sanctuary. Oh, we love our police, right? I love our police. We love our police. He'll oppose sanctuary cities, which is just terrible. Ter terrible. And Tate will always defend your Second Amendment. So Tate's running against a liberal Democrat named Jim Hood. Now, all I know about Jim Hood is he fought very hard to elect crooked Hillary Clinton and Barack Hussein Obama. Isn't that nice? He wanted Obama to win so badly, and then he wanted Hillary to win, and that's not the kind of guy we need here, not in Mississippi. He's supported by extreme leftists like Stacey Abrams, who, by the way, went down to defeat in front of a terrific gentleman from the great state of Georgia, Brian Kemp. And they came in with, oh, they brought them all. They had President Obama. They had Michelle Obama. They had Oprah Winfrey. They came in, and all he had was Donald Trump. And we won. We won. Fairly easily.